With the recent cold weather and snow, lots of islanders have been trying to help birds. So in this week's Vital People, we thought we'd show you the amazing work the dedicated Rocky Point Bird Observatory volunteers are doing. Here's Tess Van Stratton. This is a golden crown sparrow. You can see it likes to eat berries because <laughs> it's got a purple face. <laughs> At the Rocky Point Bird Observatory's banding station in Petter Bay, volunteers identify lots of different birds. One interesting thing about these guys is that only the males actually have the ruby crown. And their unique characteristics. It looks like this guy just has green head feathers, but look at that. Monitoring birds is essential to protecting them, and these volunteers are contributing critical data on the health of our birds. The West Coast has been doing better than some of the interior and eastern sites. We haven't seen as many downward trends as some of the other places. So this one's a new bird, doesn't have a band on yet. Tagging the birds is a big part of that. So we'll open up the band here just wide enough to slip over the leg. And checking in on how they're doing. And fat is too. Volunteers banned about 3,000 birds a year, mainly between July and October, and have banded more than 48,000 since 1994. The most unusual bird that we've caught this year between our two sites is a bird called an orchard oriole. Using a pygmy owl stuffy and nightingale shows us how they do it. The birds are flying along and the mist nets are almost transparent. They're like a giant hairnet. Birds are flying along, they hit the net and fall into the pocket. They check the nets every 20 minutes. This guy is not super tangled, it just has a little bit over its foot here, so we'll just gently pull that off. And then take them to the banding station. It's got the nice red, this is a house finch. Volunteers also do a daily observation and census an hour after sunrise to gather data. One of our volunteers will walk the same route every day, taking about 75 minutes and identifying all the birds that they see. Rocky Point is the oldest organization doing long-term avian monitoring in the South Coast region, and it's making a big difference. It is those long-term data that allow us to look at some trends. And certainly we do see that some numbers have really dropped off. Some of the sparrows we see have dropped. Some birds have increased. We never used to catch white-throated sparrows, and now we do every year. Just one of the more than 300 species of songbirds, vultures, raptors, and seabirds recorded here. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.